So we're winning the step competition by a landslide. Hello. Like one. What are you doing? I'm gonna go get Vimto. Yeah, Vimto. Yeah. Where from? Okay, we're jumping straight into this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And let's get into it. Firstly, as of right now, the team step competition is finished and the solo is still ongoing. And I'm fairly certain TVG, Becky, Mickey and I have won the competition. We did some calculations last night and during the team step competition, Becky did 450,000 steps. I did 476,000. Mickey did 323,000 and TVG did 504,000, which came to a team total of 1,754,000 steps. If the calculation was the mean steps, our total would be 438,525 steps. Our median is 463,437 steps. Michael's knees are aching, my knees and ankles are aching, Becky's feet are hurting, TVG is just rocking on like TVG does. Now, onto the numbers. Last Saturday, I was working, but we got the Comfy Boy drop. This drop brought us five regular aglet shoes and one gold aglet. The gold aglet shoe, the Black Ugg, is about average for its price, nothing special. Although it is a lot better than the Easy 500 Utility Black that's in the shop at the moment. Now onto the regular aglet shoes. Firstly, the Tier 5s, the Brazil Flip Flops, they're a good choice if you're just starting out. The Clarks Pickwell Sales, I'd stay away from them, they're pretty naff. But if you're on a tight budget and you have a Tier 3 Deadstock station near you, the traditional Moccasin, Moccasin, I don't really know how to say it, but the Uggs are definitely a good choice. And the other two shoes that came in the Comfy Boy drop are very efficient shoes. This makes me feel like we're nearing the end of the shop. The socks and slides are about as efficient as the Jordan 4 sales were, but because their durability is so low, you don't earn anywhere near as much aglet from them. When dead stocking the aglet socks and slides, you get just under the 20,000 aglet in profit. And once again, jumping in from the edit, because once again, there is a change made. Now I'm about to speak to you about the Gucci loafers, but this morning, the Gucci loafers disappeared from the aglet shop. So in the past 24 hours, we've had one random shoe appear, one random shoe disappear, and this is what Batman had to say about the matter. Now, obviously it's early days of this. My two theories are, theory number one, we have a shop drop on the weekend, and then midweek, we have a shoe appear and a shoe disappear. My other theory is we have a shop drop during the weekend, and then during the week, we're gonna have random events happening in the shop. Whether that be new shoes, shoes disappearing, or shoes coming back into the shop, I'm not too sure what's going on. Like I said, it's early days, we just gotta wait and see. And the final shoe from the Comfy Boy drop, the Gucci loafers. Now let me tell you something, these smash it out of the park. If you have the 54,000 aglet to afford these, and you have a tier two dead stock station near you, no excuses wear these. When they released on Saturday, they were the most efficient regular aglet shoe to come in the game. Obviously, with that statement, they were more efficient than the Jordan 1 Royals, and the total possible profit from dead stocking them is over 10,000 more aglet. And those comfy Gucci boys, they're what I'm wearing in game right now. But then, out of nowhere, on a cold and gloomy Tuesday afternoon, Valentin comes in the Discord and says, hey, there's a new shoe in the shop go cop it, there's only 30 of them. So I was just baffled, I was like, what? I went and looked, and from looking at its stats, I could tell it was insane, but I didn't realize how insane. The Aglet One Sprint samples, they are stupidly more efficient than the Gucci loafers. They have an insane total possible profit of over 87,000 Aglet. Just, that's profit. And the fact that they can be repaired at every Deadstock station, just, these are insane. Whether you sneak a shine on them or you take them to Deadstock stations, these shoes are gonna be insane for you, but I would really recommend Deadstocking them. Now there's some key information that I missed out from previous videos that I'm gonna give you now. First of all, the Aglet One Hiker Gore-Tex bring in over 23,000 Aglet when using sneaker shine. The Aglet One BLMs, 24,000. The Aglet One Sprint OG brings in 24,000 Aglet and Profit when using Sneaker Shine. And the Aglet One Sprint Sample brings in 64,000 Aglet in Profit when using Sneaker Shine. Now, there is only 30 of these samples available, but they're insane. If you have two, I'd recommend keeping your lowest number and then grinding the other one because there's no point, you can't sell them. You can just be sitting there pretty with your 87,000 Aglet in Profit. Now, the solo competition does end very soon. I'm keeping a close eye on that leaderboard. It's very tight for that third place and if second place TVG doesn't keep up his steps he could easily slip down into fourth and I know he's gonna hate me saying that so you better keep up those steps now I'm gonna head off not get steps I'm just gonna relax and wait for some news about my Nintendo switch I'll see you in a bit peace